Apple has unveiled a new iPhone, the iPhone 12, for all of us to ogle at and potentially buy. And to me, that brings up a question. Should you buy the new iPhone 12 or this guitar? Let's talk about it. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support our store and look snazzy at the same time, please visit our Teespring store linked below for our custom designed t-shirts. So as I mentioned, Apple has a new iPhone, right? It's the iPhone 12 or 12 mini or 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max or 12 Pro SE super duper awesome phone, whatever you want to call it. Um, this obviously actually isn't an iPhone 12 mini or anything else. This is my iPhone 11 Pro Max, I guess is what it's called. And I love my phone. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a great phone. It's got great cameras. It's got great features. But of course, this year, it's a new phone, which means it's better, right? It's faster. The screen's better. It's got a different design. That's, not, that's a new design, but it's not a new design because it was on the old iPhone. Anyway. Um, and it's got better cameras and all of these things to entice you to purchase the new phone. But the question for me is, should you get that phone or should you look at something else? And since this is a guitar related channel, the question on my mind turns to guitars. So here's how I wanna frame this. I don't think phones are a bad thing. Like I said, I, I own an iPhone, I love them. But we often on this channel see comments and we read as many comments as we can, even the creepy ones, about how expensive guitars are. And so I wanna frame this in a particular conversation with you about guitars versus other things that we fill our lives with and what we consider to be a good value. Because really, expense is not the important thing. For all of us, it comes down to what we value. So let's talk about the new iPhone, for instance. The iPhone 12 mini, which is a new model that they came out with, retails for $699 and I think goes on sale pretty much right about now. You can pre-order it and maybe walk into a store with a mask on or something and buy it. For $699, there's a wide choice of guitars that you can purchase out there, but this happens to be one of them. This is a Fender Player Stratocaster. It is one of the very best guitars in this price point that you can buy if you're looking for an electric guitar. Now, there's tons of other acoustic guitars that you can purchase. There's Telecasters, there's stuff from other manufacturers, what have you. For $699, let's add a buck on there and just call it 700 bucks, you can get a really great guitar. And this is where the question for me always comes down to when I see people complain about the value of an instrument. If we keep in mind the things that we put in our lives that we, we kind of sometimes clutter ourselves with, and how much they cost, how long they last, and the value of it, to me, things like a guitar and, and maybe some other examples become dramatic examples of what I consider to be an incredibly good value. So let's look at the iPhone, for instance. It's a new iPhone for 2020, the iPhone 12. For 2019, it was the iPhone 11. Before that, it was the iPhone 10 or X, right? and the eight, and they skipped nine for some reason, and the seven and so forth. Every single year, Apple's trying to come out with a new phone. Meanwhile, Google has their Pixels and Samsung. It could be an Android phone, it could be an Apple phone, I don't care. The point of it though is that technology, the minute you buy it, has an expiration date on it. Now, I am probably the worst one to come to if you ever want someone to try to talk you out of buying something. Because at the end of the day, uh, I'm an enabler. I can convince you why something's a good idea. A phone, for instance, is a great value in your life. It offers tons of convenience. You use it every single day. They've become like mini computers. Uh, we do video with them. We do photos with them. We browse the internet with them. We can do business on them. We can do all of these things with our smartphones. And so you can potentially justify the price of a $600 or $1,000 or $1,200 phone, what have you, by looking at how much you use and how integral it is into your life. But that doesn't change the fact that the minute you buy that phone, there's a clock on it. It will eventually expire. Next year, the iPhone 12 will get replaced. And then a few years after that, it just won't be good anymore. You won't get software updates. It won't be very fast. It will 
get lost in time because that's what happens to technology. Now, we're talking about phones everybody has in their pocket. You can relate it to computers or just about anything else. A car as well is one of the biggest expenses, and we've talked about that on this channel before. You can spend tens of thousands of dollars on a vehicle that you probably won't keep beyond five years usually. Now, let's juxtapose that with my case for a musical instrument, in this case, a guitar. Instead of spending $699 on an iPhone 12 mini, you can instead spend $699 on this Fender Player Strat. Just go to alamomusic.com. And what you'll get is a guitar that will potentially last you a lifetime, something that you can even hand down. While this isn't considered like a super high-end guitar, let alone what some would consider a professional instrument. It can be used by a professional. It can be used for recording. It can be used to learn the instrument. It can be used to play gigs with. It's a very, very good electric guitar. It's a Stratocaster. And you know what? The design's pretty timeless. It hasn't changed since 1954 by and large. It's had little things over the years, but it pretty much is what it is. And it works really, really well to do what it does. As a musician, to me, Let's enable it, right? It brings great en enjoyment to your life. I think it's incredibly fulfilling to play guitar. And for all of the different hobbies that you can have out there spending money on, I think it's relatively inexpensive and a good value at that to purchase an instrument that doesn't expire, doesn't need software updates, isn't going to be obsolete in four years compared to what you might find from a smartphone. And so I encourage you to look at things from this standpoint. I'm not saying don't go out and buy an iPhone. I might actually just upgrade my iPhone 11 Pro Max and go buy an iPhone 12 Pro Max because Dolby HDR or whatever. But <laughs> I have a ton of guitars too. So I'm not telling you don't go buy those things. I'm just wanting to help you put into context what value really is. A guitar is really... In the grand scheme of things, even some of the most expensive guitars, a really good long-term value when you compare it to all of the other things that we surround ourselves with. The technology in your house, smart locks, smartphones, new televisions, whatever it is, they're eventually going to be obsolete, filling our dumps with new electronic trash or hopefully being recycled into something to become the newest version of eventual electronic trash. They're great, they serve a purpose in our life, and I absolutely love tech. Actually, I'll just tell you right now how bad I am. I'm a bit of a tech hoarder. I still have the original iPhone and old iPhone 3Gs, but thankfully I have children and I have a son who's a geek. And so I've just given those to him and he keeps them in his room and I don't feel like they've gone away and I don't have to worry about them in my stuff. So, you know, I do enjoy this stuff, but I really, if I'm given the choice and I can only choose one, I know which way I would go. This is the better value, long-term, and for fulfillment in my life. So that's my opinion. I'd like to hear yours. Let us know what you think. If you're new to our channel, by the way, this is what we do, we talk about guitars. So make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and keep coming back for more. At the end of the day, the best guitar in the world is not an app on your iPhone, but instead it's the one that you're making music with. And maybe you use your iPhone to make that music, maybe you don't. Either way, a guitar is kind of an important part of that. So I hope you enjoy playing, keep coming back for more, I'll see you next time. Once again, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about the guitar, check out Alamo Music. Oh, Pat. Hey, everybody. I love guitar videos just like you do. But guess what? Alamo Music Center has another YouTube channel. You can check out all the piano and keyboard reviews that we have and see more of me. Cooper, do we have another one of those? He's fine.